So as I'm sure you guys know, on Friday, Rockstar revealed that Grand Theft Auto 6 is currently in development, its process is well underway, and with that, they completely broke the internet. Let me just give you some examples of what I'm talking about. Rockstar's tweet announcing GTA 6 is in development has more likes than the second trailer for Avengers Endgame and almost as many likes as the first trailer. It's really hard to put this in perspective, just how massive and historic this game will be. If a simple tweet acknowledging there will be another GTA game can get, at this point, nearly 600,000 likes on Twitter, and that's just one social media platform, more than a trailer for the second highest grossing film of all time, imagine what will happen when there's gameplay, when there's a logo, when they officially confirm the title of this game. We don't know if it's going to be GTA 6 right now. What's also crazy is this announcement got more likes than Grand Theft Auto 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2's announcement combined. So it just goes to show you how big this game is going to be. And Rockstar themselves was basically trending all over. So you can see some of the trends here include Grand Theft Auto, there's still the hashtag save Red Dead Online movement that was going on because a lot of players were like, okay, this is great, but why haven't you addressed Red Dead Online? Rockstar Games was trending. GTA 6 was trending. And because of course it was, even GTA 7 was trending. Because why not? We get our first official sniff of GTA 6 and the community already wants to see what's going to be coming out after that. So, like I said, Rockstar Games pretty much broke the internet, and a lot of Rockstar Games employees were finally able to break their silence. So, obviously, anyone working on GTA 6 has had to sign a non-disclosure agreement, meaning they, they can't really talk about it. So, they've had to be silent about their work, about what they're doing. They can't post anything on social media. So, because of that, after this announcement broke... A lot of employees took to social media to finally say, like, we told you guys, and it was probably like a big sigh of relief for them as well. So what I want to do right now is just look at some of these, and these are just ones that I found on Twitter. I'm sure that there's way more posted out there, but let's go ahead and take a look at them right now. Everyone we're going to be taking a look at today posted these publicly on Twitter, and they are all employees at Rockstar Games, developers or studio managers or quality assurance testers. They all work for Rockstar. So uh, Danny W. Game Dev said, we be working hard, and all of them have essentially quote tweeted the announcement that Rockstar made on Twitter saying that there's a new entry in the Grand Theft Auto series. Jim Jagger said, this is going to be special dot, dot, dot. This one actually got a lot of traction uh, when I took the screenshot, over 2,000 likes. So it's a big deal when he says something like that. Jordan Garland says, yup, it exists. And this is kind of the response I bet a lot of them wanted to say because it was like they've been getting asked about this game for years now, and now they can finally confirm that it exists. Harry with just a bunch of like party emojis. So he's obviously very excited that they can finally now talk about it. We've got Mackenzie Shirk, who just said a winky face and ended up tweeting a picture of the what's next and how there's a new entry into the Grand Theft Auto series. Lisa Marin just tweeting out a fire heart, which is pretty cool. Don't look into any of the things they say here. I think they're just finally excited to be able to talk about it. Uh, JD Solilo just had a smiley emoji, a really big grinny emoji, and a cool sunglasses face emoji. So obviously very excited about that. Uncle Bean said, Woot. Again, these are all Rockstar Games employees here, so they're just excited to talk about it. Phil B, with one of the most hilarious ones, saying, The auto-posting spam bots replying, Don't care, announce the next GTA game, is the funniest part of this announcement, to be honest. With Tez Funds 2 even jumping in the, on the reply saying, where's Gavin but taken to the next level? Uh, that's hilarious. Uh, Dave Alden, just with the like side eyes emoji, like, hey, look at us. We're working on the next GTA game. That's pretty cool. Same with Brian Vinsky. He did the exact same thing. And Bo. So it seems like a lot of Rockstar Games employees are just like, oh, yeah, look at us. We've got something cooking. Finally, we're able to tell you about it now. I, I, there were like 
hundreds of examples of this. These are just the ones that I was able to find. You've got 2D Tomb with the sunglasses emoji. Again, just like, hmm, look at us. We're making the next game. Joe said, oh, so this is what they were talking about in the office, dot, dot, dot. Obviously, he probably knows a lot more than that. Reese Bassett also giving the side eyes emoji, as you guys can see right there. Then Edward Hines Lindo just basically tweeting that. The quote that Rockstar said, we are pleased to confirm that active development for the next entry in the Grand Theft Auto series is well underway. Andrew ended up tweeting out a picture of the great Gatsby giving basically a toast like, all right, how about that? Alex saying, come work with us because you get to work on the next GTA game, which is obviously pretty cool. James Bullman ended up tweeting the siren and then a cop car chasing a regular car, which is basically Grand Theft Auto. And then again, our man Dan W with the side eyes emoji. Connor saying, yes, please stop asking. Yes, the answer is yes. And it's funny because his follow-up to that was also kind of interesting, saying, like, I love when people ask me about something and I just say, I can't tell you. And now I can say maybe, 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 because Rockstar have officially confirmed it. So that is obviously very, very cool. I can say that this is a long time coming for many fans of Rockstar waiting for the next GTA title, myself included, many of you guys that are watching this video. So I just wanted to showcase kind of that because it was kind of like the developers and employees kind of all rising up at once saying like, haha, we told you it's here and that it's coming. You just had to be patient. So that was the response from developers, artists, animators, etc. Now, let's dive into some more GTA 6 news and info. This is specifically going to be coming from Rockstar Games Insider Tez Funds 2. On the GTA forum site, he ended up saying this regarding PC and Rockstar working with exclusives like PlayStation or Xbox. So he said, even with Rockstar having their own launcher, Epic Games used that Fortnite money to have GTA 5 for free on their launcher for merely one week. They nearly spent $12 million to secure the same deal with other titles the year before that. It's unknown how much they paid for GTA 5, but definitely from $1 million to half or two. While Microsoft and Sony will battle out with each other on the same console scene, Epic Games will definitely pay hella money to secure a deal with Rockstar when it comes to GTA 6 on PC. And speaking of that, someone asked him if it was going to be on PC day one, and he said, you are better off asking Rockstar themselves. I have no clue about everything that goes on within Rockstar. I just hear stuff about the release window, which I expect most of the devs are aware about, and knowing that isn't as bad as spoiling the ending or something like that. If Rockstar this time finishes the work on the PC version first, and then the consoles later on, it could launch on day one, but both Microsoft and Sony would try and secure contracts with Rockstar, and both big companies are wilding right now with acquisitions. Securing a contract with Rockstar wouldn't be as wild as what we experienced in the past two weeks. So long story short, if I was a betting man, I would say in traditional and typical Rockstar fashion, the game is probably going to come out on the consoles first, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and then will eventually make its way to the PC. And I don't know if that's because of exclusivity deals that Rockstar signs with Sony and Microsoft, or if it's just those are the games they develop first or the consoles that they develop first. I'm not sure, but that's how it's happened for GTA 4. It's how it's happened for Grand Theft Auto 5, Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't expect that to change anytime soon for GTA 6. Now, moving on, since Rockstar put out their announcement saying they are pleased to confirm that active development for the next entry in the Grand Theft Auto series is well underway, people have been dissecting what that means. How far along are they in development? What does well underway mean? Well, we kind of heard from Tez Funds too, who brought up a good point, which kind of just suggests that, you know, Rockstar's wording here might be a little bit strange. You can't really believe everything they say, or they have very much Rockstar isms because he said we could be a few months away from release and the game would still be in quote early development, right? So that's why you can't really bank on that word is one that you can just toss around being early in the first 50% or first 75%. Because it actually looks like the game has been in development almost a decade now, since 2012 or 2013. So the reason we know that is because there was an internal document that was actually leaked in 2013 or 2012. And the document really didn't tell us much. It basically said at the time 
GTA 6 included a full production schedule of 60 people plus 10 OS and a full production team. And the various cities they were considering was Miami, a random small town, including tight stories, scheduled characters, ridiculous levels of ambiance, every home interior modeled, every building enterable, more realism. If you're wanted, you're on the run for a while. Vegas in the 70s, somewhere snowy like Chicago or Detroit or Mexico City. Uh, and this was an internal document that was passed around. I'll let you guys pause that on the screen if you want to take a look at it for yourself. But essentially, that means the game, at least in some degree, has been in development for almost an ongoing decade right now. And there was a little bit of follow-up to that because someone asked, yeah, that Noter document from 2012 is the oldest thing we have, right? Obviously, they're always talking about what to do next. I'm sure Rockstar had a few rough ideas on RDR3 in 2018 too, but it typically takes a while before actual substantial work starts. And he said, yes, the notes belong to a very top dog at Rockstar, not your typical hearsay. That's why I believe the very first steps of pre-production started as far as late as 2012 or 2013. So that's why we kind of have to be careful on just looking at everything we see there. And I'm not even going to go into the rockstar isms of how far along they are in development or what well underway might mean or how soon we're going to get more details because they're not ready yet. The only thing I can tell you is I will definitely be sure to keep you guys updated and in the loop when new information clearly arrives from Rockstar. I'm so excited about this. The season of GTA 6 has officially arrived and this whole thing is just very, very exciting. So I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Let me know what you think about all the GTA 6 news and information that we ended up talking about today. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did gonna enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, you wanna stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.